Hey lovelies, this is Jenna and Caitlin with Fleur and B's Beauty in Pajamas. And we're here to talk to you about the best skincare routine for dry skin. because we've got a secret offer for you. Shh. But before we can talk about how to fix dry skin, we need to understand what causes dry skin. Quick lesson time. Your skin is made up of three layers. All right, the innermost layer, the hypodermis, the middle layer, the dermis, and then the outermost layer, the epidermis. Now in the dermis, the middle layer, your skin creates a substance called sebum and this Magical oil helps to protect the skin and helps your skin retain its moisture. It's fabulous, wonderful, lovely, but there are things that you're probably doing that counteract the effects of sebum, like being in dry weather, hot water, a lack of water, but also using certain chemical ingredients on your skin. Yikes. So what ingredients should I avoid because I want to make sure I keep my sebum levels intact? You should want to keep your, those love. You should want those up. Yes, I do. All right. So the ingredients that you should be avoiding are parabens, retinoids, sodium lauryl sulfate, and the word fragrance. Wait, why would we want to avoid the word fragrance? I love when things smell nice. I do too, but the problem with the word fragrance is that you don't actually have to disclose the ingredients that go into the fragrance on the full ingredients list. So as a consumer, you don't actually know what's in it. Wow. Companies do this to hide certain nasty toxins that they don't want you to know about. But the good news is that there are many products out there that use natural ingredients that smell nice and they're fully disclosed on an ingredients list. I am so glad we went over these, so now we know which ingredients to avoid. Mm -hmm. But which ingredients should we be looking for if we have dry skin? Okay, we have five, not ten, five <laughs> of our favorite natural moisturizing ingredients that we're gonna talk to you about right now. So first mm -hmm. is squalane, which is the hydrogenated form of squalene, which is found in what Caitlin was talking about, sebum, full circle. And as she mentioned, it's that magic oil that our skin naturally produces. And squalane helps to soothe, plump, and hydrate your skin. The thing about squalane though is that you're, that you're gonna wanna remember is that it can be derived from animal byproducts. Mm -hmm. However, here at Florin B, we're cruelty free and we're vegan, so our squalane comes from olive oil. Two thumbs. Way up. Way, way up. The next is organic aloe. And this old school green plant is full of vitamins and minerals. It helps to soothe the surface of your skin, remove any buildup, and it also helps to attract moisture. Then there's glycerin. This plant-based ingredient actually attracts water, which is always a win when it comes to moisturizing. It actually provides rejuvenating moisture to combat loss from your day-to-day -day adventures. Hyaluronic acid is also a fabulous moisturizer. I know it sounds a teeny tiny bit scary, but it's actually something that your skin naturally produces to help attract water and Fun fact about hyaluronic acid is that it can actually hold up to a thousand wow. times, I will repeat that, a thousand times wow. its weight in moisture. So needless to say, including it in a skincare product will really help to rehydrate your skin. That's amazing. But we have one more ingredient and finally it's algae, which I know, sounds super slimy, a little disgusting, but it's not. It's actually an antioxidant rich extract that attracts water and boosts the mineral content in your skin. And you should be making sure to look for these ingredients in your daily moisturizer. Absolutely you should be. At, and at the very least, if you have really dry skin, you definitely need to be using a moisturizer in the morning and at night. 
Lucky for you here at Fleur and B, we have an amazing natural moisturizer called Creme de la Cream. You may also want to add a natural eye cream and toner to your routine as well. Great suggestions, Jenna. But honestly, some of the best things that you can be doing is just changing little daily habits that you have that are contributing to your dry skin. Like making sure to drink enough water. This goes without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Good for you, Jenna. Eight eight ounce glasses of H2O per day. Per, per day. day. Don't be just doing it some days. This will keep you hydrated. It's really the best thing you can do for your skin. But another thing that you can be doing is turn down the heat. I know I sound like your dad yelling at you, but honestly, <laughs> just wash your face and your body with cool or lukewarm water. Your skin will thank you. Uh, also, your hair's gonna thank you because it likes it too. Ooh, ooh, I always love when my hair's happy. That Who day. doesn't? <laughs> Good hair days, turn down the heat. <laughs> okay, and finally, try a humidifier. That's a great idea. I never would have thought of that. Yeah. So usually people think, okay, I need a humidifier because I'm sick. However, oftentimes the air in our homes is actually super dry and the humidifier helps to maintain moisture in the air. Humidifiers are especially helpful in those dry, dry winter months, but if you use one year round, your skin will thank you for it. That's like the best thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching our video. If you're interested in trying any of Fleur and B's incredible moisturizing products, just head to our website, fleurandb.com. And be sure to use code YouTube for 25% off. Please also subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and check out our blog. Bye for now. We out.